Abd Rahman says, what if I do not run my fingers through my beard during wudu? We know that there are pillars of performing wudu. So washing the face, washing the arms till the elbows, wiping over the head and washing the feet, the order of this uh, actions or these actions and the uh, it's to be simultaneous. So if I wash my face, scholars say your beard is one of two. Either it is thin, meaning that you can see the skin underneath it, which is not the case with my beard, alhamdulillah. So if you can see the skin underneath it, then you have to wash it and what's underneath this beard so that you ensure that the water reaches your skin, which is apparent. But if it's a thick beard, what is the ruling? Different of opinion among scholars. Some say <clears throat> that washing the face includes what you can see from it, but what goes underneath a thick beard would be very difficult, if not impossible. Others say, no, you have to wash it because it was proven authentic that the Prophet ﷺ, whenever he performed wudu, he would take a handful of water and put it underneath his beard. But this again is washing the inside of this side, not the sides here and there, which may lead us to conclude that the most authentic opinion is the opinion of the majority of scholars that putting water in your hand and putting your fingers throughout your thick beard is not mandatory, but it is surely a very highly recommended sunnah that people should not uh, uh, neglect.